you are given this word problem to solve. How should we approach it? Step 1. Understand the problem. Read the entire word problem thoroughly. Try to draw a diagram to visualize the problem. The unit costs of the two types of cupcakes are given in the form of a table. Sharon bought 20 cupcakes. The ratio of strawberry to cherry cupcakes was 2 to 3. What was the total cost of all the cupcakes? Let us try to understand the problem with the aid of a diagram. There are two types of cupcakes, strawberry and cherry, and their unit prices are given. She bought a total of 20 cupcakes. The ratio of strawberry to cherry cupcakes was 2 to 3. That means, for every two strawberry cupcakes, Sharon bought three cherry cupcakes. We are required to find the cost of all the cupcakes bought. To do that, we have to find the total cost of each type of cupcake spot first before we can find the total cost. Now that we have understood the problem, let's proceed to the next step. Step 2. Devise a plan. Based on the relationships among known and unknown quantities, decide on the method of solution. We can either use a comparison model or a part whole model to represent the problem. In this lesson, we'll use the comparison model. The ratio of the cupcake spot is given. Strawberry, two parts of the ratio. Cherry, three parts of the ratio. So we use two units to represent the quantity of the strawberry cupcakes. Let's use S for short. For the cherry cupcakes, that will be three units. Let's use C for short. The total number of cupcakes is 20. We'll use a curly bracket here to represent a sum and then indicate the sum, which is 20. What are we required to find? We are required to find the total cost of all the cupcakes. In a model, we indicate the value we are to find with a question mark. So where should our question mark go? It should be here, next to the total. Let us study the model we have just drawn. Notice that these units represent quantity. But what we are required to find is the total cost. So not only do we need to know the total quantity of each type of cupcake spot, we also need to find the total cost of each type of cupcake spot in order to find the total cost of the cupcakes. Let's indicate that in the model. This is for finding the total quantity and the total cost of the strawberry cupcakes. And this is for finding the total quantity and the total cost of the cherry cupcakes. Now that we have completed the model, let's move on to the next step. Step 3. Carry out the plan. Follow the plan that was devised to work out the solution. Let's find the total quantity and total cost of each type of cupcakes. We have a total of 5 equal units here, and they represent a total quantity of 20. So we write, 5 units are equal to 20. 1 unit is equal to 20 divided by 5. This is equal to 4. Now let's find the number of strawberry cupcakes Sharon bought. She bought 2 units of it. So, 2 units are equal to 4 times 2. This is equal to 8. Next, the cost of these 8 strawberry cupcakes. The cost is equal to 8 times of 75 cents. This is equal to $6. Now let's find the total quantity and total cost of the cherry cupcakes. The total quantity of the cherry cupcakes is represented by 3 units. So, 3 units are equal to 4 times of 3. This is equal to 12. 
Next, the cost of these 12 cherry cupcakes. The cost is equal to 12 times of 55 cents. This is equal to $6.60. Now let's find the total cost of all the cupcakes. The total cost is equal to $6 plus $6.60. This is equal to $12.60. Have we got the correct answer? Let's find out in the next step. Step 4. Check back. Will using another method of solution give you the same answer? We can solve this problem in another way. The ratio of the quantities of the two types of cupcakes is given. Total number of parts in the ratio is equal to 2 plus 3, which is 5. 5 parts of the ratio is equal to 20. 1 part of the ratio is equal to 20 divided by 5. This gives us 4. So the number of strawberry cupcakes is equal to 4 times 2, which is 8. The cost of these cupcakes is equal to 8 times 75 cents, which is $6. The number of cherry cupcakes is equal to 4 times 3, which is 12. The cost of these cupcakes is equal to 12 times 55 cents, which is $6.60. So the total cost of all the cupcakes is equal to $6 plus $6.60 which is $12.60. This matches the answer we have found earlier. So the total cost of all the cupcakes we had found is correct. Now let's write the statement. The total cost of all the cupcakes is $12.60. Wonderful! We have solved the problem.